Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether this series converges or diverges. Now, we clearly have an alternating series because of the negative 1 to the n, and so we could attack this series with the alternating series test. But, as there is, in the sequence of terms we're summing over, an exponential function, we are much better off using the ratio test. So this is a n, the sequence of terms we are summing over, and as always, in the ratio test, we look at the limit, as n tends to infinity, of a n plus 1 over a n in absolute value. So let's calculate or compute a n plus 1. So we're placing n by n plus 1 in the expression will give us negative 1 to the n plus 1 n plus 1 cubed over 2 to the n plus 1 and dividing by a n means we are multiplying by the reciprocal therefore times 2 to the n over negative 1 to the n and cubed. Let's simplify this. Well, if you recall the absolute value function, all it does is it makes things positive. Well, look at these two terms here. Negative 1 to any power is either plus or minus 1. But in absolute value, plus or minus 1 is always 1. And so we can ignore these two terms. The remaining terms are all positive, so we'll be able to drop the absolute value. And let's now regroup similar terms. Well, the 2 to the n over 2 to the n plus 1, we can subtract the exponent, so n plus 1 minus n gives you 1, so that's 1 half. And we'll regroup the n plus 1 cubed with the n cubed, but as both are cubed, we can combine them under the same exponent as simply n plus 1 over n all cubed. The limit will be much simpler if we divide through by n, which gives us now the limit, as n tends to infinity of 1 half, times n over n is 1, plus 1 over n all cubed. Well, as n tends to infinity, 1 over n tends to 0. So we'll have here 1 cubed, which is 1, times 1 half, and the limit, therefore, is simply 1 half, which is, again, clearly less than 1. And so if you recall, if this limit is strictly less than 1, the ratio test says that the corresponding series, so summing the terms a n, converges absolutely. and of course by the ratio test. And that's it.